reported, sir. I know who you are, Dr. Waring. Yes, sir, reported for duty, sir. Well, can you please report a little less noisily? You give the passengers a headache. <laughs> In the middle of a holiday cruise, not the Battle of the River Plate. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we don't salute each other, Doctor. This is a civilian ship. Oh. Uh, isn't there any sort of formal greeting, sir? Yes, we usually say good morning. <laughs> I want you to report every morning at this time. We shall have a private chat so that you can keep me fully informed about any confidential medical problems on board. But, sir, if they're confidential, surely I can't tell you about them. Yes, you ruddy well can. You can tell me any ruddy thing I ask you to. That's an order. <laughs> Not in some old lady's nursing home. You're on the ruddy MS Pagani, and I'm the ruddy captain. Yes, sir, I know you're the ruddy captain, sir. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Well, uh, everything is, is fine, sir. And, uh, it's all except for the smallpox outbreak, of course. The what? <laughs> Just my little joke, you know. Uh, <clears throat> well, everything's fine, sir, and everybody's very well. Glad to hear it. How do you like being a ship surgeon? Sit down. I'm sure I'll love it, sir, once I get used to the rough sea. Rough sea? It's like a mill pond out there. Oh, really? Oh, well, I, th I thought it was a bit rough, but probably because it's the first time I've been on a boat. Chef. Uh, sorry, yeah. still a bit of a landlubber, you know? Landlubber? For God's sake, Dr. Waring, this isn't Treasure Island. <laughs> no doubt you expected me to have a wooden leg and carry a parrot on my show. <laughs> Hello. Uh, good morning, morning gentlemen. Captain. Morning, Captain. Morning, 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 Captain. Morning, number one. Number one. Nice. Morning. Morning. <clears throat> you met everybody? Well, Chief Officer, everything all right in your department? Yes, sir. We expect the calm weather to continue. But according to radio reports, there may be some fog. <laughs> there is already. First, support that ruddy pipe out. <laughs> Put it on! <laughs> Sorry, Captain. Other than that, my principal problem at the moment is lack of manpower. We're considerably short-staffed. Yes, sir. I was just about to mention that. There weren't enough waiters at breakfast, and we've only done half of yesterday's laundry. Quite a number of the passengers are complaining about it. I don't think I quite understand. No? Well, why don't you ask the ship's surgeon? <laughs> <laughs> I've got this terrible migraine, Doctor. Oh, really? Yeah, I've taken some aspirins. No, no, that won't shift it. You'll have to lie down till it's better. Would you like me to write you a chitty? Yes, please, Doctor. Oh. Don't you think you're being rather liberal with the chitties? Do you mind, nurse? I'm the ship's surgeon. You are the ship's assistant surgeon? How many chitties have you handed out since yesterday? Um... I was told at the captain's conference this morning that you handed out about 30. About 30. But why, is there some epidemic? No, no, just minor complaints. Backache, migraine, vomiting, and sexual frustration after months at sea. <laughs> You can't go handing out medical certificates to all the crew just because they're feeling randy. <laughs> Let's face it, we're all in the same boat. Ship. You know what I mean. Well, go and have a look at that chap lying in there, then. Hmm? Uh. <laughs> oh. oh, Doctor, it's, it's you. <laughs> you see? He's deeply depressed. It's the entertainment officer. He's always depressed. <laughs> We've got to do something for him. Yeah, but the captain said no more chitties to be issued. He said what? Oh, oh. Our diagnosis is a medical matter. It's got nothing to do with the captain. We don't tell him how to drive his boat. Shit. Yes. <laughs> You're right there. Of course I'm right. <laughs> now, would you like me to write you a chitty? No, thank you, Doctor. No, don't worry about me. I'll, I'll carry on. <laughs> you see, I, I have my duties to perform. I, I have, I have to keep the passengers happy. And <laughs> I, I have to make them laugh. <laughs> you, you see, I'm. I'm... I'm a trooper. <laughs> What's the latest? It's frightful, Captain. 
The crew are falling like nine pins. I couldn't even get any coffee after lunch. Nor could I. Dr. Waring thinks you're working the crew too hard, sir. Does he indeed? Mm -hmm. Of course, I don't agree with him at all. He's handing out shit is like nobody's business. In fact, sir, if you want my opinion... I don't. Go and find Dr. Waring immediately and send him to me at the double. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah, uh, Doctor, how many chitties have been issued to the crew since last we spoke? Uh, you mean you want to know exactly how many of the crew are ill? None of them are ill. I want to know how many of them have got chitties. Uh, well, at present, uh, about 45. Although I said no more. Uh, yes, sir, but... Shut up. How many have you issued and how many have been issued by your assistant? Well, sir, um, well, all of them have been issued by Dr. Stuart Clark. <laughs> yeah, that, that's his job, to look after the crew. He's certainly looking after them, isn't he? What the hell's Dr. Stuart Clark up to? Oh, sir, he's a perfectly good doctor. He knows what he's doing. Disobeying my orders is the most serious offence a ship's officer can commit. We'll drop him off at the next port. See to it. Sir! That's an order! Get rid of him! Aye, aye, sir! And don't salute! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> Sitting here in the sun, long drink in one hand. Have a short girl in the other. <laughs> I think it was rather cheap. Well, that is me, cheap and cheerful. Well, cheap, anyway. Here. You ought to have a cup of tea to go with that crumpet. <laughs> What's the difference? No, do listen. Why is the difference between a carpet, an egg, and a bit of crumpet? I couldn't care less. Well. You can beat an egg, you can beat the carpet, and you can't beat with a crumpet. <laughs> I really must get back to work. Oh, can't you stay a bit longer? I don't think so. By the way, are you the one that's giving out all the cheaties? One or two, yes. I wouldn't mind a day in bed. Not a promise. <laughs> now, look, Doctor, I'm so depressed. Can you help me? No, I can't. You're an officer. I can only handle the crew. And the girls. <laughs> oh, yes. Was that another joke? Uh, would you please laugh at the next one, because I need a bit of a tonic. Look, uh, Cyril, why don't you just relax? Go and have a swim. It'll do you the world of good. A swim? I could, I could do with a swim. You are a very good doctor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, boys and girls, last one in the pools of city. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no! I'm so sorry. I had no idea the pool was empty. <laughs> well, you should have known the pool was empty. You gave the maintenance man his chitty. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Look, Cyril, try and look on the bright side. I mean, your injuries may take your mind off your depression. Dick. Well, out. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Dick, I've got something to tell you. The captain is after you. Oh, these sailors, they're all the same, you know. Get off, look, Dick, I'm serious. He's going to drop you off at Madeira. You're sacked. I'm what? For disobeying orders. He told us we weren't to issue any more medical certificates, didn't he? But, do, but he... But Sorry I, to disturb I, you, baby dot, but I've still got that terrible migraine. Can you give me another chitty? Yes, yes, of course. But, look, a gentleman, I'm terribly sorry, Dr. Stuart Clark can't issue any more medical certificates. Oh, Captain's orders. Well, what a liberty. That captain gives me a pain in the neck. No, 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 no. That's your migraine. <laughs> Dr. Stuart Clark has been sacked. The captain's dropped him off at the next port. What? He can't do that. Well, that's what I said. I mean, the, the crew have a right to be ill, surely. Yeah, you, you want to stand up for yourself, baby Doc. We'll support you. Well, I'm glad someone around here is willing to. Oh, he can't support you. 
I mean, I just don't see what these chaps can do, though, unless they've gone strike or something. A very good idea, Doc. We're behind you, all the way. Eh? Right. Yeah. Right! All right, let's go and see the captain. We'll tell him that you, you must have the right to be ill or else. Yeah, yes, that's yeah, right. Absolutely right. right. Don't, don't, don't. Dick, you just stay there. Oh. We'll see to it. Oh. Right, come on. Right, come on, pour in. Come on. Let's get him. Blimey, that was close. If Blondie had got the sack, we might have had to go back to work. Right. Oh. <laughs> and this Dr. Stuart Clark, senior officer. I must inform you that if there is a conflict of interest between your orders and doing our duty... It is your duty as an officer to obey. Then it is my duty as a doctor to disobey. These men... <laughs> these sick men... have asked me to tell you that they are prepared to go on strike unless Dr. Stuart Clark is reinstated and allowed to continue his duties unhindered. Well spoken, Doc. Congratulations. <laughs> Did you say strike? Yes, sir. That's right. There is no such thing as a strike at sea. This is a mutiny. Sorry? A mutiny, sir. And the penalty for mutiny, Dr. Waring, is death. <laughs> Chitty, all in the name of liberty and health, of course. But you're suspended. You're not supposed to issue chitties. Yes, but that was before the strike. Now then, what did the captain say? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, this now, is so uh, exciting, you know. I've never caused a strike before. Yes, but Dick, I bet but... you didn't realise that beneath this blue-blooded aristocratic exterior, there was a little red trying to get out. <laughs> little red what? <laughs> this is the most important thing that's happened to this ship in years. My God, how these men have been mistreated. There is not going to be any strike. What? Well, nothing has changed. No more chitties are to be issued. The men have until tomorrow morning to get back to work, and you're still sacked. Well, what happened to the strike? We're not allowed to strike. Not allowed? This is the 20th century. It is the right of every man to withdraw his labour. One vital factor you mustn't forget is that we are at sea. I was never under the illusion that that mass of H2O out there was the serpentine. <laughs> I can't forget that we are at sea. It is impossible for me to forget that we are at sea. Because when I look through that little window there, which is called a porthole, all I see is sea. <laughs> miles and miles of sea. So much rotten sea that they call it an ocean. So don't you tell me not to forget that we are at sea. You great oink! <laughs> don't you call me a great oink, you stupid pig! <laughs> and the one thing about being at sea is that you're not allowed to strike. Because if you strike at sea, it's not called a strike, it's called a ruddy mutiny! <laughs> you great oink! <laughs> then, Duncan, you will have to lead a mutiny. Don't be so stupid. The penalty for mutiny is death. We all have to take risks sometimes. <laughs> can I disturb you for a moment, sir? I'm sure you can. Thank you, Captain. I just came to see you about this Dr. Waring business, sir. What now? Well, now, sir, he told us, I mean, that is, he told me and my fellow officers that you've threatened him with the death penalty. Well, now, sir, in some ways that may seem a little harsh. But I do want you to know, sir, that I'm right behind you. <laughs> what? Well, sir, mutiny is mutiny and death is death. I mean, that is, death is a penalty and the wages for mutiny is death. What are you blabbering about, Persia? Well, sir, Dr. Waring is aware of the consequences now. And if he continues with this mutinous behaviour, then he must accept the fruits of his wickedness and his just deserts. Have you been talking to the chef again? <laughs> Since my God, sir, I'm quite serious. Mutiny is mutiny and death is a penalty. Oh, shut up! Oh, yes, sir. Get to the point. What is it you want? 
I just want to agree with you, sir. <laughs> I didn't threaten Dr. Waring with a death penalty. I merely put the fear of God into him to make him come to his senses. Jolly funny it was, too. <laughs> <laughs> His mouth fell open so wide we could have dropped the anchor into it. <laughs> oh, really, sir, it's wonderful to have a sense of humor in this moment of crisis. Truly, Captain, you are a leader of men. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'll give a doctor wearing until tomorrow morning to get everything back to normal. Let's hope he has a good long think tonight. This isn't Treasure Island, Captain. <coughs> this isn't Treasure Island. What about the men? Give up your command. Don't you see, sir? You're driving the men too hard. Ahoy! <laughs> Take, sir, this isn't Treasure Island. Ah! Threaten me with mutiny, would you, you young dog? Me, Long John Loftus? But don't you see, sir, you're a sick man. Fifteen men on the dead. Captain Loftus, man's you need more rest. Let me tell you, lad, I've gone round the Cape. Well, let me tell you, sir, you've gone round the twist. Fifteen men on the dead, Mr. Captain Loftus, I'm taking command of this boat. Sure! I'm taking command as of now. Oh, you, you young pup! We'll see you about that! Dr. Waring, you are accused of mutiny. I know. As senior surgeon on this ship, are you responsible for my incompetence? Yes. Mila, I rest my case. Excellent. I find thee guilty. Find the cop! Find the Shut up! <laughs> ship surgeon, I take into account this is your first offence, and I shall be lenient. I hereby sentence you to walk the plank. Carry on, Mr. Executioner. Aye, aye, sir. Terrible. Yeah, 
Well, I couldn't sleep at all. I was dreaming all night. What, what time is it, nurse? Um, 9.30. That's what I thought. Well, it's time for the crew surgery, isn't it? Where are they all? Well, they won't be ill today. Why not? We're in port. If they were ill, they couldn't go ashore to visit the ladies of the town. Well, do you mean they're all well again? Do you mean they were never ill? Oh, God. How could you both have been so stupid? Well, I wasn't stupid. I didn't examine the crew myself. Well, that was pretty stupid. Morning, Duncan. Morning, Joyce. Huh? Where are all the patients? They've all had a remarkable recovery. We're in port. They're all visiting the ladies of the town. I don't understand. <laughs> They're sailors. <laughs> but the ladies of the town. What rhymes with chitties? <laughs> oh, I understand. Now well, look, Jack. You've been handing out these titties for migraine and backache and tummy ache. And why not? Because you can't check up on those sorts of illnesses. Of course you can't. You have to take their word for it. Duncan, you don't think they've been telling me fibs, do you? <laughs> nice and busy here, yeah, I see. Oh, sir, I owe you an apology. The mutiny's over, I take it. Yes, sir. Yes, because all your fellow mutineers have deserted you and have gone off to visit the, the ladies, ladies of the, the town. town. <laughs> As usual, the spirit was willing, but the flesh was weak. It takes a brave man to admit when he's wrong. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, go on then, man. Admit it. <laughs> What's wrong? Duncan, you are brave. What about you, assistant surgeon? Oh, I'm not brave, sir. No, but you were wrong. <laughs> I know, but I'm only the assistant surgeon. But I am willing to assume a small part of you ruddy idiot! You quack! What? You're the one who created this storm in the teacup! Oh, sir, don't be too harsh on Stuart Clark, sir. He's too trusting. Isn't yes, he? I'm very trusting. Well, I'm not. Before anyone issues any more chitties, I am to be consulted. That is an order! Yes, sir! Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me patience. <laughs> They're all visiting the ladies of the town, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Quite decent about it, really. That's where we all make mistakes. Yeah, next time, don't you be so trusting, eh? <laughs> you know, Duncan, it was very good of you to cooperate, especially as you weren't getting anything out of it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you don't think I was handing out all those chitties for nothing, do you? I'm not stupid. I was making a small fortune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's two quid a ton, cash. Cash? Yes, cash. I'm not as trusting as all that, you know. <laughs> Fancy a drink, Nurse? Do. <laughs> Thank you.